Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for inviting me uh, to this conference, and um, I am uh, from a Think Tank Creative Museum, uh, but surprise, surprise, it's not uh, connected with this one, uh, Creative Museum. Uh, I am here uh, because of the uh, uh, fact that uh, as Think Tank Creative Museum, uh, we are coordinating a working group within uh, NEMO, a network of uh, museum, European Museums uh, Association uh, organizations. So, uh, two words about uh, Think Tank Creative Museum. Uh, Creative Museum is an uh, experimental and independent think tank, and uh, we are focusing on museums and creative industries. And uh, we are uh, serving as a platform for sharing knowledge, uh, exper uh, experience, uh, innovation, and creativity. Uh, we were established uh, um, on, in uh, 2012, uh, and we are based in Latvia. Uh, and. Um, our mission is to challenge, uh, challenge routines through critical thinking uh, and uh, work uh, not only with museums but with creative industries and uh, speak uh, mainly on uh, behalf of uh, cross-sectoral collaboration and partnerships. So coming to the uh, reason why I'm here, uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, I'm here because of coordinating a working group uh, within NEMO. Uh, we have uh, at uh, this moment uh, four partners um, uh, from uh, Romania, Poland, Iceland and Latvia. Uh, and we are looking for uh, two, three more partners from uh, from European countries. So, uh, if uh, after this presentation you will consider if you are interested in this topic as well, so you are welcome. So, uh, uh, why uh, why we uh, started to think about this uh, topic not only in a national level but in international uh, level? Um, since uh, 2014, we are coordinating this working group uh, within NEMO, but uh, uh, two, uh, for almost for two or three uh, years now, we are mapping uh, co uh, cooperations and good, good practices uh, in Latvia, monitoring these practices and, and, and looking on uh, synergies between these practice, uh, practices between uh, museums and uh, creative industries. Uh, and um, uh, then, uh, we, uh, and this, uh, by discussing this, we uh, understand that it's not uh, enough only collect these practices and and, uh, and inform about these practices. We need something more. We need data. We need. Uh, we need. Um uh, something to be able to lobbying this question, uh, not only to museums, uh, not only to national level, but uh, but uh, but to be able to to lobbying this uh, this question uh, uh, to museum organizations across Europe uh, uh, and uh, to to give them uh, advice how to support uh, museums uh, and creative industries, how to support this collabor uh, collaboration between museums and creative industries, uh, and. Um, our challenges or, or aims with this project is to raise the profile of museums in the context of creative industries, to learn more about cooperation between museums and creative industries, what is happening, where and how. And again, not only in national scale, but in, uh, at, uh, now for, for this moment in European scale. So uh, one of next challenges to prove the benefits of, co of cooperation among cultural and creative industries for the policy makers. And it's again, it's about lobbying. It's about about uh, showing uh, this data, showing this uh, good practices to policy makers and to be able to discuss this question and to give them uh, data about why we need to support, why we need to, uh, to be more informative, why we need to, uh, uh, to, to encourage this, uh, this cooperation. Uh, and um, uh, next one, to stimulate uh, uh, cooperation among museums and creative industries um, and to support objectives of creative Europe. And um, if I speak about added values, um, then uh, the Creative Europe framework provides uh, a unique opportunity to highlight uh, this potential uh, of uh, museums and, and uh, museum potential in sti stimulating creative businesses and uh, those uh, contributing to growth and jobs, uh, what is uh, strategic targets of Europe 2020. Uh, as I said, uh, at first we, uh, we collected uh, these good practices and um, uh, we interviewed uh, creative industries, uh, uh, people of creative industries and people from museums. 
the museums are uh, asking them three similar questions. Why cooperation with museums or why cooperation with creative industries? What is challenges and what is added uh, value? So, and there are uh, only some examples. Uh, one of these examples is um, um, planner for this year, for 2015, and then uh, besides this planner, we created a mobile application uh, for uh, uh, Rundal Palace. So this mobile application and planner was inspired by the museum. And uh, why a museum? And Rive Simonson from Creative Museum uh, says so. A museum is a manifesto against short-term thinking and loss of perspective. In a wor uh, world dominated by the whims of the moment, the museum's task is to go on the offensive against shallow forgetfulness by telling exciting stories from the past and helping to shape the future. What is challenges? Museums were created to go against the tide of time, therefore they uh, often have difficulty keeping up with the times. Actually, there is only one challenge, to gain popularity, but uh, not to be overwhelmed by it. And uh, added values, um, to be short, uh, to be brief, uh, it's to be uh, to, cre uh, to be able to create the best and most memorable museum experience. We are working together with uh, uh, museum professionals, designers, informa uh, information technology experts, translators, and many others to create this uh, best experience for for museum visitors. So, next example is from fashion design. Uh, it's a fashion design uh, company, Kokoschka, and uh, designer Alona Bauska created a fashion collection uh, inspired by uh, this, uh, Museum of Design and Decorative Arts in Latvia. And uh, what she said, why museum? Uh, being approached by a museum to create my own collection was a big surprise and joy. It is a, a fantastic idea to combine art from the last century with a contemporary take on it, thus reviving and exhibiting it on a larger scale. And I need to mention that uh, this fashion designer works mainly with hipsters and, and uh, her, uh, her collection goes uh, outside, uh, um, outside uh, Latvian customers, so uh, maybe sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, this hipster wearing this, these clothes start to think uh, what is on, 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 on their clothes and so they return to, to museum collections and start to studying this. Uh, about added value, uh, Alona says uh, it is mo uh, modern and cool of a museum to cooperate with contemporary designer to create accessible design products and about challenges. It is a great challenge to give the collection second life by reviving it and promoting museum values. And you know, uh, Recently, uh, Alona was um, asked uh, from a uh, uh, different museum and, uh, to, to, to purchase uh, her collection for the collection of the museum. So, uh, collection which was inspired by uh, collection of, of the beginning of 20th century, uh, museum collection uh, was bought for, for the museum of 21st century. So, it's again an uh, interesting uh, example. Another one, uh, porcelain plate uh, was uh, um, a design inspired by, again, by Museum of Decorative Art and Design, uh, by a museum, uh, and a um, designer says uh, that Mesa Brand invited me to create a graphic uh, in reference to the creative work of designer using the uh, font created by Aesthetic Design Studio from Anse Cyril's handwriting. Again, the design from the 19th century, from the beginning of 20th century, was redesigned and, and used uh, for creating this new uh, new product with, with, uh, with high, uh, high added value. Uh, and uh, about added value, um, uh, she created a contemporary porcelain plane which looks equally good on a wall or a dinner table. Uh, and about challenges, I like this very much. She, uh, she's saying that museums are like photo albums on the entire country, which can be opened, examined, and supplemented from time to time, and, and, and supplemented with new items, with new products, uh, uh, with, with added values, uh, which, uh, which was created uh, by, uh, ins uh, inspired by, by museum collection. So, and last one, uh, design company. 
And uh, this is design company. Uh, they are work uh, work uh, with uh, museums to help uh, museums uh, to create uh, their exhibitions and um, and uh, and um, uh, design service. So uh, a museum uh, is a three-dimensional story. Uh, the examination of which requires maximum participation from the visitors. Our job is to create a room that tells a story. Added value uh, in, the, in disciplinary uh, teams consisting of professional from various fields who work together to create an outstanding result, an exhibition in a museum. And challenges, and here we can hear uh, some stereotypes as well. Challenges uh, is not only excellent exhibition, but challenges are teamwork, uh, which often requires breaking, uh, breaking stereotypes that museums know by themselves how to deliver best, uh, best uh, service design, and they need uh, help of, of, of specialists, and, and they need work in teamworks. And uh, the second stereotype that design, uh, design today is so much more than a beautiful attire. So, uh, and uh, then when we collected uh, not only this, but uh, many more uh, other examples, we started to, uh, to, to, to think about uh, developing methodology, how to evaluate these synergies, how to, uh, how to have this data, how we can uh, uh, provide, uh, uh, provide museums with, uh, with this uh, um, trustful data when they are going to, to their, uh, their uh, managers or, or, or when, uh, for example, Nemo is starting to, to lobby uh, on uh, behalf of museums that, uh, that um, museums need more support and maybe more fundings for, for this work. Uh, so, uh, we started with pilot examination and test phase of the uh, method uh, methodology. Uh, and uh, we uh, asked uh, researchers to, 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 uh, to uh, work on this methodology and test phase was, uh, was um, uh, conducted in Latvia. And uh, now when we finished with this test phase in Latvia, we are ready to, to go further and, and to start this uh, testing uh, of uh, this methodology in uh, uh, Romania, Poland, or, or Iceland, or in, in some, uh, some other countries. So, and what uh, researchers are saying? Uh, they are saying that museums in the context of creative industries are relatively understudied field. Uh, and uh, this can be explained partly by the fact that uh, not all countries, including Latvia, consider museums as a part of creative industries. And you know, it's, uh, it's uh, maybe in this audience as well, uh, not all uh, of you will agree that museums are creative industries. Uh, maybe some of you will say that museums are a good support base for the creative industries. And uh, whatever we are saying, it's important to understand that um, museums nevertheless provide an Im important contribution to the economic de development of creative industries. And um, we all will be benefited by this, not only creative industries, but museums as well, because, uh, for example, for me, uh, working together with creative industries Industries is speaking in, in the re uh, relevant uh, language with, with society today, and, and this is a good way how you can, can speak to your audiences. So, uh, uh, researchers are saying that um, synergy is a key word when you starting to uh, work on this uh, methodology, and, uh, and they are uh, they, they were. Um, as they uh, try to, fi uh, to, to, to find this in-depth uh, analysis of the mechanisms of cooperation uh, and, 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 uh, and, and synergy, uh, synergy to identify, uh, identify the impact at the micro and macro level. So, um, and uh, museums can be considered as networks of objects included in museum collections, uh, networks of people involved in the creation and daily operation of museums, as well as of underlying ideas and ideologies that have motivated the formation and governance of the current shape. And um, uh, so uh, they, uh, they were interested in this, uh, in this uh, networks of objects, networks of people, uh, networks of ideas, and, and their methodology was based, uh, the work uh, in their methodology was based on these networks, and, uh, and to, 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 they tried to find uh, connections with, uh, uh, with uh, these networks, and, and to show how they influence each other, and how they uh, support economic benefits. 
Uh, and um, uh, if you would ask how they did this, uh, they, uh, they, at first they worked on a questionnaire, uh, which started with some simple question about uh, museum, uh, museum's mission, uh, vision, values. Uh, they started with um, uh, some questions about audiences, about uh, their preferences, uh, what what they would like, uh, how they uh, how they feel their audiences in the future, and then they came to these main questions about what you are thinking about uh, museums and creative industries. Uh, 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 could you name some creative industries uh, which uh, whom you've worked for some two years? Uh, then, uh, which uh, which would uh, be um, uh, creative industries? Uh, which whom you would like to work in the future, and so on. And it was sent uh, as questionnaire to 47 museums in Latvia. We received back 24 uh, questionnaires, uh, and, uh, and uh, it's uh, rather a good uh, number if you consider that not all museums in Latvia would say that they uh, support creative industries or they uh, would like to work with creative industries. Then uh, the next phase was uh, they uh, went further and they uh, choose uh, uh, two museums, national museums, and they work, uh, worked with uh, this museum in more, more detailed uh, versions. So they, um, uh, they uh, research their uh, publicly available uh, documents, for, the, for example, strategies, again, mission statements, uh, policy doc documents. Then they, uh, uh, they interviewed museum managers uh, and uh, museum administration, uh, for example, uh, heads of communication departments. And so they um, looked at differences, what museums are saying on these publicly available documents uh, and what they are saying in in-depth interviews. They uh, compared these materials and again, they returned to the museums and uh, they asked again these uh, questions to museum people. And the next phase, uh, they worked, uh, they, they asked museums to send them all contacts all their contacts uh, uh, between museums and creative industries, how they are contacting, for example, uh, exhibition designers and all these people, and they are uh, working on these synergies right now. So, and it will be the next step. So after the, this test phase and piloting, we can, uh, or researchers can uh, overall conclude that uh, we can work with this methodology, but we need uh, museum support. We need museums as, as partners in this process, because it's very important uh, to test this methodology and, uh, and uh, to improve this methodology, we need museums as partners. So, and uh, to conclude, uh, they came uh, out with four uh, recommendations for the moment uh, after after this test uh, phase in in Latvia. Uh, it's important uh, th that museums have information, that they uh, are informed about these possibilities, that they are informed about creative industries, and they inf are informed about their own rights and, uh, and, and benefits uh, and challenges with, when they are working with creative industries. Then openness, museums, uh, need, to, uh, museums need to be open if, if we, if we uh, want to, uh, to uh, increase this, uh, this, uh, this uh, cooperation and these networks because uh, when we, uh, when we uh, started in Latvia, we, uh, at first we found only uh, some, uh, some good examples uh, in cooperation between museums and creative industries. During the next two years, we, 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 we um, saw that these uh, cooperation uh, are in increased uh, level, so we need to, to be open. Then, uh, researchers uh, are saying that we need pressure of management or, or managing institutions because even uh, even statement by, for example, Ministry of Culture and other ministries on the importance of such synergy could facilitate including this topic into the agenda of the museum. They are saying that we need this uh, support or pressure from governing organizations as well. And um, the next one, uh, networking uh, conferences, 
uh, symposiums, uh, working groups together, uh, uh, together where uh, museum people and creative industries uh, people uh, come together and, and, and networking and, and, and um, work on this topic. And last one, uh, digitalization. Uh, one of main uh, main recommendations for the museum. Museum uh, museums uh, need to open their collections and to give this resource to creative industries to, to be able to use their collection and to create this uh, this uh, products or or um, projects with added uh, high added value, which uh, I mentioned before. So. And uh, to conclude, uh, you would ask what will be next. And next, as I said, starting my project, starting my presentation, uh, we test this uh, in Latvia. And now we are open to test this uh, further. So, and uh, we will be, uh, uh, by the end of this month, uh, we will publish uh, this, uh, this research as, uh, as pilot research, as toolkit. So, uh, you are welcome to, to join us in NEMO conference in November in Pilsen, so you will uh, have the ability to, to have this copy. If not, uh, this, uh, this toolkit will be uh, available in PDF version, so you will have chance to download this from our web, web page, creativemuseum.eu. Thank you.